This is Snowy Mountains Backcountry and we're going to show you how to treat a broken, suspected broken upper leg in the field using what you've got. Two short lengths of cordage, some tubular webbing, three triangular bandages and an adjustable ski pole. Okay, so we're going to just adjust the top of the tie knot here. Clove hitch, the top of the ski pole. And then we're going to put this around the patient's upper leg, around his groin. Have to be very careful here, very painful injury. Pat it out with this. So splinting helps reduce blood loss, and it definitely helps as an analgesia, so it'll help with the pain. So before and after splinting, you have to check for nerve sensation and movement in the toes and a pulse before and after splinting. Okay, I'll tie this off with another clove hitch. All right. We'll put this on down at the feet before we put traction on, because once you put traction on, you can't let go, it's very important. I'm being very gentle here. All right, Jess, can you? All right, mate, you hold him there now, his toe, because you've got to overcome that big, strong quad muscle. Okay, you've got to hold that. You've got that really good. Yep. Okay, you've got to overcome that muscle. Now let this go here. That's looking really good. You get out a little bit of cordage. And to start with, we'll just tie off. We've got plenty of room here. Tie off a figure eight. Put it around the bottom. This pole's pretty much extended out a fair way. And we'll go in around. Okay, so we're going to put the traction on now. And remembering we've got to overcome that great big quad muscle. How's that, mate? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to tie a few half hitches here. You want these knots to be pretty good because you don't want this coming undone, especially when you start to move this patient. So what you want to think about here is uh, how you're going to get this guy out of here. And this is pretty much, unless you're close to the trailhead and you can maybe do a, a stretcher haul back to the trailhead or if you're in good terrain where you can get a skidoo to this guy, that might also be another option. But uh, generally... I think this guy is going out in a helicopter and this is pretty much a SOS PLB or hitch it in reach and get this guy out of here. But you can see you can make a pretty good improvised uh, traction split from what you've got in your pack. All right, you can put some tape over that and then using your triangular bandages above and below the injury, go through the hollow of the knee, bring it up above and this is just helping keep the splint in place so it doesn't uh, you know wobble around everywhere and hurt the injury and below you don't want to over the injury it's just going to make it worse You've got to think mechanism of injury here. How's old mate hurt himself? So you definitely want to be considering a head injury. So maybe checking his level of consciousness. And as mentioned, you want to check his pulse before and after. Because you don't want this splinting to compromise his blood flow. So mate, can you wiggle your toes in there? Can you wiggle your toes still in that boot? Yep. And any pins and needles in your toes or does it feel okay? Oh, it feels alright. That's good. We'll take his pulse again, keep talking to him, keep him happy. And you've got to think here in this injury, a lot of blood loss in that big muscle there. And why we wanted to keep that tension on was because we don't want, if we let go, the, 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 uh, the bones can come like, together like this past each other and compromise that femoral artery and cause even more blood loss. And uh, I guess that's not too bad a job and keep the guy comfortable and think of shock with a lot of blood loss so we need to um, treat him for shock also.